In case you didn't already know, there are tons of ways to help you rank a web page. You can do things like share on social media or get some publicity on a show like Shark Tank. Actually, quite a few of our big commerce clients have participated in the show, among many other things. So dream big man, because absolutely anything is possible. Now, keyword research is all about trying to best figure out what your potential customers are typing into that search box, and really, it could surprise you. Understanding what your customers are searching for will help you better select and use keywords that are appropriate for your specific business. So first thing, we want to help you work smart. Keyword research can be really challenging, but we're going to help you keep it simple by giving you some really great power tips that are going to make you more effective and save you heaps of time. Here are some rules of the keyword game that you should keep in mind when it comes to keyword research, especially in the upcoming videos. Number one, don't try and rank for a single keyword at a time. It's much easier to rank for themes of keywords or groupings of hundreds of long tail keywords within the same piece of content. This is gonna to prove to be easier and more profitable in the long run. Number two, focus on finding long tail keywords as they'll be more specific and more likely to target a shopper that's ready to buy. This is exactly what we talked about in the keyword benefits video. You should know that those customers using long tail keywords are about 70% more likely to purchase something. So again, this means you aren't trying to rank for the word dog, but rather something far more specific. Number three, select keywords in your happy medium, or as I like to call it, the Goldilocks range. You don't want to choose keywords that are too hot and popular as there'll be more competition, which will make it more challenging to rank. You also don't want to pick keywords that have far too little traffic, otherwise you're not going to get enough shoppers to your business. Number four, understand it's an ongoing process. As you're starting, it might feel like you're trying to hit a moving target. Rest assured that you're not alone and this is totally normal. Also, we're going to help you track and analyze your efforts later on in Big Commerce University so that you know what's working and what's not. Okay, so the first task is just sit down, maybe get some snacks, and start looking at your product or thinking about your service. Then describe it. Use keywords that explain what it is, how it works, what it's made from, or something as simple as its color. Do this for the top five, maybe even 10 products on your site. You'll want to focus on the most popular items first because those are the things your shoppers are looking for. From there, try to think a little bit more broadly and identify some keyword themes you might have already. Your categories are actually a really good place to start doing this. By having a collection of specific themes, you'll be able to create additional supporting content really easily, like blog posts and things of that nature. Then mix in some qualifiers. Qualifiers are simply words that help define intent, and they'll really help beef up your keywords to make them more long tail. Let's say that one of your products that you're selling is dog treats. Based on the general competitive nature of that keyword, we need to get more specific, and we need to find longer tail search terms that help define a searcher's intent. So in choosing keywords to help you sell dog treats, you'll find it really helpful to use qualifiers and different variations as well. Now, qualifiers are not only gonna lead you towards those longer tail keywords, which is really, really important when you're starting a new business, but they'll also help you target people who are ready to buy. This will also help you in creating content on your store that discusses relevant topics like solutions for typical dog allergies or the benefits of organic dog treats. These things will entice your shoppers. It's all just really, really good stuff to be doing. So remember, work smarter, not harder. Think about your product or service, describe it, and then brainstorm on some qualifiers. We'll show you what to do with all of this very shortly in Big Commerce University.